Be Still My Heart by Emily McIntyre is a tale centered on Nora McNamara, a young woman with a challenging past, and Jude Winslow, a man tormented by his own demons. Despite their respective struggles, a profound connection blooms between them, replete with passion, emotional turmoil, and a journey towards healing and self-discovery. Nora McNamara grew up entangled in a web of pain and abuse. Her stepfather's maltreatment left her with profound mental and emotional scars, burdening her with a heavy sense of worthlessness and fear. Struggling to break free from the nightmares of her childhood, she carries her haunted past like an indelible stain, palpable in every aspect of her life. As a means of coping, she embraces the comfort of control. Nora seeks solace in her bakery, sugar and spice, in the small town of Havenwood. This enterprise is her sanctuary, a place where she can create beautiful confections and engage with her community, all while maintaining a safe distance from others and the specter of intimacy that terrifies her. Enter Jude Winslow, a man with an imposing physical presence, marked by tattoos and an intensity that Nora finds equally intimidating and intriguing. Jude, a seemingly gruff and unfriendly individual, wields a sledgehammer of emotional damage from his past, mostly resulting from losing his brother Johnny. Plagued by a heavy sense of guilt and grief, Jude lives in the shadow of his brother's death, which he believes he could have prevented. This guilt leads him to a path of self-destructive behavior and emotional barriers that he erects to keep others at a distance, afraid of connecting and then subsequently losing them. Their paths cross when Jude stumbles into Nora's bakery for a cup of coffee, and despite his initially gruff demeanor, a spark ignites between them. The attraction is palpable, but both Nora and Jude understand that their baggage could easily derail any chance of happiness. Jude, intrigued by Nora's gentle strength and beauty, pursues her cautiously, sensing the deep-seated fears that lurk beneath her calm exterior. Nora is equally drawn to Jude, sensing in him a kindred spirit, someone who too carries unseen scars. Yet her past experiences make it incredibly difficult for her to trust, particularly a man with Jude's intensity. The idea of letting down her guard or placing her heart in someone else's hands is nothing short of terrifying. Despite the inner turmoil, the connection between Jude and Nora deepens. Jude's gentle persistence pays off as Nora gradually opens up to him, revealing the dark corners of her soul that she has kept hidden for so long. Jude, in turn, shares his pain with Nora, allowing her to see the vulnerability behind his tough exterior. Together, they embark on an emotional odyssey, challenging one another to face their demons and heal the wounds that appear too deep to mend. Their journey is far from smooth, with external forces threatening to tear them apart. For one, Nora's stepfather lurks menacingly in the background, a constant reminder of the horrors she has endured and who may still pose a threat to her safety and well-being. Moreover, the residents of Havenwood, accustomed to tranquility and routine, view Jude's arrival and noticeable difference with suspicion, leading to tensions within the small community. Nora and Jude must also contend with internal obstacles, including their own deep-rooted insecurities and fears that sabotage their blooming relationship. Nora battles with the fear of abandonment and being unworthy of love, while Jude grapples with immense guilt and the terror of losing another person he cares for. These emotional barricades occasionally lead to misunderstandings and conflict, as both individuals struggle to reconcile their burgeoning love with the protective walls they have built around themselves. Love proves to be a formidable force, sparking a transformation in both Nora and Jude. Throughout their complicated, intertwined tale, they learn that love involves mutual vulnerability and trust. It emboldens Nora to confront her crippling fears and stand up to the shadows that have held her captive for so long. For Jude, love serves as a redemptive balm, softening the calluses of guilt and teaching him to forgive himself, allowing the memory of his brother to be one of love rather than one solely of sorrow. Their emotional growth paves the way for moments of true intimacy, not just physical, but an intertwining of their isolated souls finding solace and strength in one another. Love, they learn, is not just the fiery passion that initially drew them together, but also the quiet moments of understanding, the willingness to support without judgment, and the courage to let someone else see the darkest parts of oneself. 
In the climactic juncture of their story, Nora and Jude face their greatest test. Nora is forced to confront her stepfather once more, a situation fraught with danger and the potential for reliving past traumas. It is a harrowing encounter that threatens to unravel all the progress she's made. Meanwhile, Jude must overcome his fears of loss and helplessness to stand by Nora's side, even when the chaos threatens to consume them. The conclusion of Be Still My Heart is marked by healing, both individual and shared. Nora emerges from her traumatic confrontation stronger and more assured, no longer a prisoner to her past. Jude, witnessing Nora's bravery and realizing the true strength of their bond, fully commits to a future together, no longer allowing the specter of the past to keep them from the happiness both deserve. In the final chapters, Nora and Jude come to accept that while their scars may never fully vanish, together they have the capability to write a new narrative, one where love is not overshadowed by pain. They also recognize the importance of their community and begin to engage more actively with those around them, fostering relationships that bring additional layers of support and affection to their lives. Nora and Jude's story concludes not with a guarantee of an untroubled future, but with a meaningful acknowledgement that they have found a shared purpose, a mutual understanding, and a love that has the power to heal the deepest of wounds. Their individual journeys toward self-acceptance and inner peace are now forever interwoven, and they step forward together, stronger, united, and full of hope. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.